Hello, uh, today I'm talking about the water shot underwater camera housing for the iPhone. Uh, this is particularly around the iPhone 5, and this is the. Hold on, let me see if I can find it if it's on here. Yeah, here it is. This is the water shot housing for the iPhone 5 Pro. So you'll see different variations of this on the water shot website but uh, this one is the iPhone 5 Pro which has some different features than their standard water shot which you can see at watershot.com so here it is, it comes uh, packaged in that box, you'll get this you'll get the cool wrist strap it's a, a nylon band that's rubber protected uh, you'll get the uh, second lens or a second lens this one happens to be the flat the standard flat port lens and then you get the case itself the case itself is very cool um, it is pretty big I'm gonna let you take a look at it while I go grab my iPhone 5 so as you can see it's a pretty big case. I'm going to show you what it looks like next to the iPhone so you can <clears throat> see the difference. But uh, and there's the iPhone next to it. So I don't know if it... <laughs> I mean the thing's big. So iPhone case. It, it, it really is a, a big difference. So what you can do is actually take a look at the little iPhone cardboard cutout on the inside and you can see that um, you know it's mostly case. Not a lot of fun but mostly case. Uh, so first I want to talk about customer service. These guys at Watershot are absolutely the coolest. Um, I won't even say had issues but you know I went through uh, different iterations as, as far as what I wanted. I wanted a waterproof case that had a wide angle lens, uh, which this one is. This is the wide conversion lens. It takes some really cool pictures, which I'll show you in a minute. So just wanted to give you guys a shout out. You guys are awesome. Uh, thank you very much for everything that you guys were able to do. Um, so let's do the install. I'm going to put just something down over here, just so it doesn't scratch. I hate keeping it right on. You know, hard service. But first thing is, there's a latch, uh, which I'll show you how to uninstall in a minute. But let's open it up first and get the iPhone 5 in there. So some keep dry material, obviously a little cardboard. But for the iPhone 5, what you want to do is a couple of things first. When you install the app, I'll move that back. You want to keep it in the bottom right hand corner and then also in settings you want to make sure that you turn the auto lock off before you install um, the phone in the case so let's put it in like so which is little nubs here that you want to pay close attention to in terms of Installation because it seats it properly, gets it angled properly uh, to the lens itself. So close it up. This part I, I found difficult. It might just be me, but you got to really see that O ring that goes around the side. You got to squeeze that in there. Really hold it tight while you. I don't know if you can see me shaking, but yeah, really hold it tight. So there it is. There's my phone on the inside. Um, See if I can get a better angle here. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. So, first thing you need to do is once you have it in there, make sure that you know you make sure all the seals are seated properly, make sure it's closed properly, and there's a latch. So you have your bottom right icon, you can see it down there. Your button will launch the app. So weight-wise it adds you know some a pretty significant amount of weight to to your phone but you know this is a diving case for your iPhone if you want something that's just waterproof you know there's there's other ones out there 
but this is made for diving. Um, I mean, this is a substantial case. Um, size, like I said, it's, it's pretty big. Lenses are really cool. So can you see, I hope you guys can see, sorry, I didn't mean to ask a question, but it really has kind of a GoPro fisheye look to it, which is really cool. And I'll show you guys how to uh, change the uh, lens in a moment. Design-wise, man, this thing, I mean, they really took some time. This is high-quality stuff from the lens to this um, grip piece to the case itself. They have this rated for 190 feet submersion, if that's the right term. Not a diver, so um, giving you a just a standard consumer level review. Uh, the buttons, really super tactile. Um, I mean, they got some springs in there. And then there's the, you know, kind of piece that shows, you know, like where it's touching. I forget what that's called, but tap any button awake. Okay, so there you go. Uh, the latch itself, I'll show you, you know, this really kind of proves how, um, tightly this thing is on because trying to get it off it's it was kind of difficult for me anyway so there's their app uh, I'm not going to go through a lot of the details of the app you can find that on the water shop web website but um, uh, let me take a picture you just press this button here it saves it to your camera roll and you can use go to that by hitting here again not going to talk about the app very much I want to talk show you more of the case itself because the case is what I find is most important and the functionality of the case so there's that wide angle to switch the lens you simply uh, holy cow unscrew it <laughs> take some force there's a couple seals in here obviously for that depth and for the um, just overall protection it needs to have these seals so you'll see a couple seals in there um, I'm not going to put the other lens on, but I'll just show you as a comparison, you know, side by side, they're the same size. And again, sealed, I'll show you what the inside looks like. This is, by the way, uh, the guys at customer service talk about how this case, you know, you want to make sure when you change this lens out, you do it in a dry area that's safe from getting water because it exposes your iPhone. So you can basically pour water and it will <laughs> just destroy your camera. So do this in a dry area. Uh, I think the other one you can change, but it's, it's, a, it's a little different. This one comes with the two lenses and at the price point of 189 bucks, it's kind of a, uh, it's a, I think it's a better value. So there that is. Uh, let's see, let me just take some video. Do that by pressing this button up here. Then you can see there's a counter at the top. Uh, I'm going to talk in my regular voice, and then when I do the playback, I'll let you guys, you know, determine how much sound is important to you. Let's see, let's put some objects in front. Whoa! So there's that wide-angle kind of view. It's so cool. I, I really love this thing. I mean, design-wise, everything about it is just awesome. Okay, so let me stop that video. You can actually scroll through by hitting this button. Uh, videos you cannot play back while it's in the case. you got to take it out, but you can, you know, just kind of go back and forth. So that's it as far as the case goes. I'm going to take it out right now. And... This is the hard part. So let me put this down. Don't want to scratch your lines. But you need to force down on here, undo a little latch, and then pull backwards. And I'm putting a lot of force. I know you guys can't tell, but I'm putting a lot of force down this way. And then the seal. Holy smokes. I mean, it's really in there. You're rest assured your phone is safe. Open this guy up. Take this out. And there's your phone. So real quick, let's go here. Whoops. Let's go back here and see if you can hear.
actually not talking so you can hear the video. Okay, you guys get the point. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it really blocks out the sound. But like I said, if you're shooting underwater, you're not really worrying about, worrying about sound, I'm assuming. Again, from a normal person's perspective, not a diver, um, you know, I, I wouldn't care about sound. I don't know about a diver if they really need to get some sound. But um, there you have it. i uh, show you the inside real quick. Local San Diego. There are those uh, buttons I was referring to. Not sure what they're called, but that's it. So I hope this uh, review offers you, again, just some more of the physical aspects of the case. I know that there's a... Uh, a couple videos out there with regard to the app itself. So, uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, again, this is the water shot for the iPhone 5 Pro. Thanks for guys for <laughs> thanks for blah blah. Thanks for watching.